I'm throwing a Berkeley Fritz side five. Um, this is what it is. It's a ghost crawl. I take the back hook off it for a reason. Um, it comes to the grass better. Uh, I fish on a seven foot David Fritz medium heavy cranking rod. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a six eight. Uh, but it's a fiberglass rod, it's soft. And I go against everything you would with a crankbait. I fish it on braid as well. Um, the braid is critical to this setup. I don't fish any other crankbait this way, but the braid helps it come through that grass. Uh, it also helps you feel it whenever it quits vibrating because a lot of these fishes come up and inhale it. So you're not feeling much of the bite. But what you want to do with this thing is you want to find that outside grass line uh, and you're fishing the outside of it. Um, you just want to tick tick this thing down on the grass as best as you can. Uh, you'll feel it load up with grass, pop it up and rip it out. 90% of your bites are going to come when you rip it out of that grass just like you would a chatterbait. Uh, the one hook, everyone's afraid they're going to miss fish. Uh, we got some pictures today. Every one of these fish we caught had at the back of their throat. Uh, you will borderline get in trouble with them because they, they eat it so deep. You might have to perform surgery to get it out. But that little Fritz side is a special bait for grass. It works fantastic here in Seminole. This really picks up middle of December and will go all the way until the first wave of fish go up on the bank and spawn. End of February. Um, maybe early March, depending on the weather. But red is imperative. Red is the color. Um, an orange will work, um, but red is what you want. And the reason that red works this time of year is these crawfish are molting right now. What that means is they're shedding their skin, they're getting new shells, and they're very, very bright red. Uh, and our live well is full of crawfish right now with all these big bass in there where they're spitting them up. Um, so that is why the red is so important. You'll catch them on a white, you'll catch them on a chartreuse, but you will really, really catch them well on a red one. Oh yeah. All right. Oh man. All right. That's five, six, five. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Popped it out of the grass. Let's see. Come on. Oh crap! That's a way to do it. There we go. That's Boy, what we're supposed to catch. About gave him away. That's a six pounder. Heck yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Yeah, Good fish. Four. Yeah, darn it. On that red you was talking about. Too. That's crappy at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Where's that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm waiting on a catfish. Oh, my God. Are you crazy, bro? Man, wow. That's exactly yeah, how we coming. planned it. Yeah, that's exactly how we planned it, y'all. We was like this we, we was building the suspense up. We've been planning this for like 30 minutes. I mean, it's crazy. It worked out just the way we had it lined to us. Unreal. Out here trying to scope some crappy, oh, crappie specs. Man, that is unreal. Good gracious. I gotta get up close on this thing. That is <laughs> sick, man. Golly. <laughs> Unreal. Y'all got to come with Ryan Higgins. This is wild, man. Oh, wild. Like Seminole experience. You cannot make it up.